Hello, we're at the Biotech, Bio International, and my name is Phyllis Dillinger. I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of Kierkegaard and Perry Laboratories, and I'm also the President of Women in Bio. Today I'm here to interview Dr. Jalal, the Executive Vice President of R&D for Medivian. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. One thing we wanted to know is could you tell us a little bit about your experience and how you got to where you are? Uh, I'd be happy to. So I came from um, originally from uh, Morocco, did all my studies um, in uh, Paris where I had my PhD and that's thanks to um, uh, uh, an encouraging mother <laughs> who pushed me as, as far as I can go and then uh, from that, I went to Germany, where in Max Planck Institute, where I did my postdoc, and since then, I found my passion in helping patients and uh, uh, started my uh, career in a drug development company. So it was from uh, Sujen to Chiron, and now at Medimmune, uh, where I'm happily developing uh, drugs for patients. Wonderful. Could you also tell us why you think it's so <laughs> important for women to be in leadership? It's very important for the great minds to be in leadership positions, men or women, especially in the biotech. It's very important to have great scientists that have the sense for science and also for the business. And I do believe that we have very bright women, very women who bring other perspective that need to get into these leading positions. Um, it's, it's not enough. We don't have enough of them. And uh, what I know is we have a lot of smart women out there, so we need to make sure to, um, that they come to these leading positions more and more because they bring a unique perspective that can only bring uh, the, the field even more forward. I totally agree. We'd also like you to give maybe one, two, or three examples <laughs> of what you think you could give some advice to the women moving up the career ladder that yeah. might help. Um, several advice, and that starts really uh, at the at the early age, is encouraging uh, girls already to that science and math are for you know uh, girls as much as as. But once we get into this um, um, into the, the the career, is first is to have um, is to follow the passion, stay true to yourself, but also really find that sponsor within within a company. It's a very important. Um, have um, you know with with and it's okay to to be ambitious and to do <laughs> to do both I think we have uh, women are extremely well at uh, uh, multitasking and we can do both of them have a, a support network it's a, it's very important and it's very important to to find that sponsor as well if you look at the careers uh, for women in the life science, what would you think are some unique career paths that women could take in the biotech industry? I think the sky is a limit, really. Um, I don't think, uh, this uh, an, another advice I, I would say, um, there are not just careers that are more towards women or men. I think women are capable of doing any career. You know, they have as much, uh, 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 there's many possibilities or, or right to be in the boardroom as any other man and they can do it. I think it's not to limit uh, themselves very early. You and I talked a few minutes before beginning this and we discussed how limited um, the women are on the board seats. Uh, how do you think we can change that? You can't get what you can what you don't ask for. I think we need, definitely there is um, I think either on the board seats or on the boardroom, there is still definitely a glass ceiling. Uh, it's shattered a little bit, but not enough. Um, I think we need to, uh, you know, as women who are on the boards, to encourage these boards to have more women, to sponsor women themselves. Uh, but I think we have, we have still to, to fight a little bit more and to go seek those positions. You know, it starts with us going, you never get what you don't ask for as well, and to fight for that. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for your valuable time. We are at the BioBuzz Center, and you can follow us on I Am Biotech. Thank you.